Since 1963, when Bruce Merfield has introduced his solid phase organic synthesis, this subject has drastically changed. First, this was develop, developed for synthesis of peptides, but now it spreads into all fields of chemistry which involve organic synthesis. Now many laboratories and companies are focused on developing of new technologies for solid phase synthesis, and that's actually to completely changed the approach for drug design and nature discovery. Previously in our group was developed a synthetic method which utilized in amid aldehyde condensation following by elimination of water in forming the acylaluminium ion which then can be trapped in intramolecular fashion, fashion with the nucleophile, nucleophile from the side chain forming the variety of different products. So this reaction resembles a well-known Pictus-Spengler reaction in organic synthesis. Um, so these uh, representative scaffolds which can be accessed with these synthetic methods. So you can see there are different heterocyclic uh, structures with a, with a variety of uh, functional group in. Uh, in my project we decided to expand this methodology on the ketone uh, molecules and so now we have a ketone in the side chain which undergo the same amide ketone condensation and then generation after generation of aluminium ion and trapping by the nucleophile we have uh, again we have a molecular library which are resulting resulted product in this pro in, the, in this project and uh, this this approach has a has this advantage that we instead of aldehyde we have a ketone which allow us to increase the stereochemical and the same time chemical diversity of the outcoming library.